This is Boxing Talk A five seven six coming at you. Um, I want to talk about a little bit something about the Floyd Mayweather Stephen A Smith um interview. Stephen A Smith interviewed Floyd Mayweather. He said he interviewed him for over seven hours. Um, they played a part of the interview on ESPN, and once again, Floyd Mayweather always put his foot in his mouth. The dude said that he, you know, no one is going to brainwash him and tell him that Sugar Ray Robinson or Ali is better than him. I respect that part. Okay, yeah, you 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 don't, you know, you competing in the same sport that they competed in. You feel like you better. That's your opinion. I respect your opinion. But I'm going to disagree with Floyd. Sugar Ray Robinson. I'm, I'm going to put that off to the side. Uh, Ali, you're not better than Ali. You're not better than Sugar Ray Robinson. I'm not going to even talk about that. You're not better than um, Ali, period. I'm here to tell you. I ain't here to brainwash you. I'm just telling you, you're not better than, Sugar, you're not better than uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was the greatest heavyweight. He was rated the greatest heavyweight by uh, Box Rec. He was rated... The third, the third uh, best pound for pound for pound fighter of all times behind Archie Moore and um, Sugar Ray Robinson, both Hall of Fame great fighters. Uh, Archie Moore was the greatest uh, light heavyweight to ever uh, fight, had the most knockouts of anybody. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson was the best welterweight and our, probably the best middleweight of all times, and a lot of by a lot of people uh, estimation the best fighter of all times. He and he beat Archie Moore, so. Um, Ali fought guys like Sonny Liston, KO artist, 72% KO uh, ratio. He was an undisputed champion. He fought Archie Moore, had uh, 80, 184 wins, the best, uh, like I said, the best uh, light heavyweight uh, champion of all times. He fought Floyd Patterson, who was on a um, nine-fight uh, uh, nine win streak when he fought him. He um, And um, Floyd Patterson was an ex um uh, Two-time um, undisputed heavyweight champion. He fought uh, George Zavallos, a great contender with a 68% um, KO ratio. He beat George G George Foreman, who was uh, undefeated, undefeated, knocking everybody out. Uh, he beat Joe Frazier, who he fought Joe Frazier three times, beat him two times. He was the first person to beat Frazier. Frazier was the first person to beat Ali, but Ali uh, won two out of three. He fought Ron Lau, who had a 60% KO ratio. This is a, he was a great contender. He beat Ken Norton twice. Ken Norton was a great contender, Hall of Famer. He beat Ernie Shavers, who was a who had a 76% uh, KO ratio. He was a great contender. He beat uh, Bob Foster, another light heavyweight uh, undisputed champion. Bob Foster was a KO uh, artist. Yes, he was coming up in weight, but he had won like 10, 10 fights in a row before he fought Ali. He was coming up to challenge um, Ali for the heavyweight championship for the world. It wasn't uncommon for light heavyweights to come up and um, challenge um, heavyweights. Um, he won gold. I mean, man, Ali fought in the best era of heavyweights. He fought in two pretty decent heavyweight uh, eras. You know, he fought... In the era he fought when he fought Sonny Liston and those guys, then he fought in the era when he fought George Foreman and those guys. George Foreman and um, Frazier and Ken Norton was all them was younger than Ali. Every one of those fighters of that era that he fought were younger than Ali. So Ali took on younger competition. He lost three years uh, because he didn't go to the uh, the Vietnam War, so they stripped him of his title. So he lost three years of his prime from what. 25 or 26 to 28 or 29, something like that. He lost, I know he lost like two and a half, three years. So, huh, come on, Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. Yes, you fought Shane Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya, Diego Corrales, who was knocking people out left and right. You, I give you a, a good uh, victory over uh, Ricky Haddon. You beat Miguel Cotto. You beat Zab Judah. But those guys don't compare to none of the guys they, don't, they really don't compare to none of the guys that Ali fought. Ali fought contenders that was better than Ricky Haddon, that was better than Zab Judah, that was better than D.A.O. Corrales. He fought contenders. I'm talking about not, not, not I ain't talking about the, the, the champions he fought and beat, the Hall of Famer champions that he fought and beat. I'm talking about contenders. Now, you going to have some nut jobs out there that are going to say, oh, yeah, man, Floyd was, Floyd was better than um, Ali, uh, skill for wise and all this. I don't think so. I think Ali was the best heavyweight, skilled heavyweight fighter of all times. The best. Period. He was the, he's the golden standard for heavyweights. In my estimation, 
Floyd Mayweather is not the gold standard for the lighter weight classes. You got so many fighters that 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 to me, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray uh, Robinson. You know what I'm saying? You got Pernell Whitaker. You got a lot, a lot of Duran, Hearns. You got a lot of fighters, man. Before that comes before him, before you even consider him, I was looking on Boxrec trying to see all the weight classes that he uh, participated in. He, a lot of people say uh, Super Featherweight was his best, uh, you know, division. Boxrec don't even have him rated in the top 25 of all times as far as uh, Super Featherweights are concerned. And he done with that division. They don't even have him ranked in the top 25 of, of uh, welterweights or lightweights. So, you know, once again, Floyd Mayweather say stupid, stupid stuff. And, you know, some people are going to say, oh, yeah, he better than Muhammad Ali. Man, y'all need to go do y'all research. The man ain't even close to Ali. He can't even hold Ali's jock strap. That's not even, and that's, and that's putting it nice. You know, he, it's not even close, man. The guy, he didn't fight. He ducked, to me, a whole welterweight era, man. Paul Williams was down there. Kermit Centron was down there. You know what I'm saying? That's This was when, um... I liked him when Humberto was down there. When Miguel Cotto was, was before he lost to, uh, uh, before he lost, uh, what's his name, having plaster in his, um, in his gloves. Miguel Cotto was down there. You know what I'm saying? I just think the guy just strategically picked and chose who he wanted to fight, man. And that's just plain and simple. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows this man. You, you gonna try to tell me that, uh, fighting, Guys like Guerrero, Guerrero, Robert Guerrero, or Victor Ortiz. Come on, man. No, th those those guys weren't even great contenders. Those guys wouldn't even be great contenders in the 80s, man. In the 70s and the 80s, those guys wouldn't even. Those guys probably would br barely break the 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 top 10. They wouldn't even be in the top 10. I'm gonna be honest with you. They wouldn't even be in the top 10. They probably wouldn't even be in the top 25. Maybe maybe in the top 25. They definitely won't be in the top 10. And you're gonna try to tell me that being a great champion, skillful champion that he is, that those guys fighting those guys, come on, man. That's not even close. So, uh, Floyd Mayweather, you got a fight coming up against, um, um, Rick, uh, not Ricky Hatton, you got a fight coming up against uh, Manny Pacquiao. You get ready for that fight. You finna get your head beat in. I already know. Um, Pacquiao throw more punches. He's more active. His footwork is better. Pacquiao got a pretty good defense. People say he don't have no defense. The man got pretty good defense. Look at their last five fights, and and just you just tell me in the copy box of getting hit, uh, what how uh Pacquiao is comparable to uh Mayweather defensive wise. Y'all be y'all will be surprised. And um Floyd Mayweather just you know just come with your A game. You know Pacquiao gonna come with his A game. No excuses. I don't want to hear nothing about the judges took the fight from no man. Y'all both got a chance to go in there. And in the fight, the fight is in your hands when you step in, step into that ring. If you don't handle your business, then it goes to the judges' scorecards, and then they judge you. That's what they're there for, to judge you if you don't take care of your business. So Pacquiao may well take care of your business. I don't want to hear nothing about somebody got robbed. I don't want to hear that. Nobody gets robbed, man. You just, you rob yourself of your own victory. So Muhammad Ali is, is better than Floyd Mayweather. I don't even know why he even uttered it out of his mouth. He's not even the best of his era. How are you going to be the, the best of all time? <laughs> and another fighter won the fighter of the decade and the decade that you fought in. What kind of sense does that make? This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out, man. You let me know about what you think about Floyd Mayweather being better than uh, Muhammad Ali. And make the case. Show me and tell me why uh, Floyd Mayweather is better than Muhammad Ali if, if, that, if that's what you think. This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out.